Good morning, guys. This Good is morning. I don't know, video three or something of our vacation. Yeah. So we are still in Charleston. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't get a chance to check out the previous videos, where we had like a travel day and yesterday, which was really busy but a lot of fun. Make yeah, sure the you, best day ever. <laughs> make sure you check those videos out. Today is more lean, more laid back. Yeah. Um, we're gonna head out to the historical Charleston ma market. Yes. Um, we'll get some footage there of just the different vendors and shops and we're gonna eat some biscuits and Yum. Um, then we'll see what the rest of the day holds we're thinking possibly doing the um, rainbow row yeah um, just kind of wandering around historic Charleston a little bit yeah so uh, we're about to head out here in a couple of minutes so we'll take you along and show you some of the sites here in Charleston let's go All right, so we're at the Charleston Historic Market and we just picked up, I guess brunch technically, from Hot Little Biscuit, Kelly's Hot Little Biscuit. Um, we got, each got three smaller sized biscuits for $6. I got the blackberry, um, I think it was chive and cheddar, and the shortcake. I'm gonna taste them. Yeah, I think it's cheese and chive. Chive and cheese? Yeah, cheese and like chive, that. I think is what it was. It's pretty good. <laughs> I have to say, I think it's a little dry. Uh oh. Dry biscuit. Maybe we need some kind of spread. Mm -hmm. But good flavor. Okay. This one is the shortcake, which I think just means it has sugar sprinkled on top. Hmm. I was really expecting more. <laughs> I think I had this built up in my head a little bit. Good flavor, a little crunchy, a little dry. But this one, has blackberry jelly on it, so maybe that'll be the winner. Is that the winner? That helps a whole lot. Mm -hmm. This one's a little moister, a little crumblier. Kaminsky's Dessert Cafe. Yes, I did see that. <laughs> All right, my official review, if you come to Callie's Hot Little Biscuit, get the jelly or get the like something with a filling. They also had sandwiches. Um, I know when I was first looking at the menu, I was looking at the BLT, which looked good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yep, yeah, this one is really good. The other ones are just good. Yeah. 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 I give it a seven and a half out of ten. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable. All right, Stuart's turn. Oh. So I also got a blackberry jam. Um, so we'll see if I like it as much as Joelle does. 
Um, I also got the sharp cheddar and black pepper bacon, there you go, which is just really bacon piled on a biscuit. I think it's a black pepper biscuit. It looks I like it has it flecks be. of yeah. something so, in it. Um, I'm going to start with the sharp cheddar. Yeah, for some reason that one is really tiny. Yeah. It's got a good cheddar flavor. I wouldn't say that it's sharp cheddar, mm -hmm. um, but it's good. It's a little dry. You need something to go with it. Um, but yeah, it's fine. All right, this one has bacon. Right, so this is the black pepper bacon. A lot of bread to a little bit of meat. Um, yeah, it's fine once again. The biscuits are a bit dry and tough to. You're definitely going to need a beverage if you're going to get these. Um, good thing we have coffee. Flavor-wise, that's pretty good though. Um, Bacon is nice. I wish it was a little peppery here, but not bad at all. And then biscuits and jelly. <laughs> Give this a try. There's some bacon in my jelly. <laughs> mm. Yeah. A dipping sauce or something would help with these quite a bit. Um, I think I would agree with like a 7 out of 10 on the rating scale. Um, definitely the blackberry jelly is the better of the ones. Um, but I'd be interested to see what the sandwiches actually are, like the breakfast sandwiches. Um, I usually avoid biscuit sandwiches because they are typically pretty dry, but it's worth giving a try once though. Um, but I would definitely recommend maybe going with one of the sandwiches versus getting the three for six like we got. So we're going to finish these and I guess we'll go off to whatever the next thing is. We don't know. <laughs> So these were a lot of the wealthy people's houses, right? Yeah, I'm trying to remember which ones he talked about, but I think the ones he talked about were, were further down, there. yeah. Although I think this is the one where the husband and wife couldn't agree. Oh, and yeah. And they did it in a bunch of different styles. Right. I know he mentioned this pink one here. I think he mentioned that was in Victorian style. Yep. Hey there guys, we are back after, well it's a few hours since we've been back from our journey around Charleston. Yeah. Um, we spent a good deal of time walking through the historical city market, then we got a chance to see Rainbow Row, which you'll see some footage of that. Um, I think when it comes to our experience, because of the stuff we saw, I don't know that it was what we expected it to be, but it was a neat thing to, yeah. to see. Saw all the big houses. Yep, that we had seen from the harbor tour mm -hmm. um, in our last video. So that was kind of fun to see them up close. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, and then we walked along the battery, which we also saw from our harbor tours at, from the water. So now we saw it from the land. That was kind of mm -hmm. neat. Um, and I think the one thing that was odd with those houses, because we've been to places like we went to Providence a few years back, and you forget the people like once upon a time in those mansions lived there. So you, in your little like peasant mind, forget that people actually still inhabit these houses. Yeah, right? And it's a lot of house. I don't know why people would want to live like that, but whatever. If they can afford the houses, I'm sure they can afford people to clean them. So. Exactly. <laughs> and gardeners to come and, you know, mow the lawn and trim the bushes and plant the flowers and all that stuff. But just neat to see those yeah, things. Yeah, so it was fun. The historical market was fun. Um, we saw they have like a, a South Carolina Charleston thing, which is like these baskets woven from seagrass, mm -hmm. which were really neat and it would have been fun to get, but they were so expensive. Yeah. So you said you were looking at a small one. It was like sixty dollars. Yeah, like, like the size of a teacup saucer, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like it's it was not even as big as this plate, the basket. It was Which, tiny. I mean, I know that they're hand woven, but it seemed like there were ten to fifteen different vendors doing right, those. So right. it's not like they're rare, or it seems like a skill that people pick up pretty. Yeah, often. and also at every entrance and exit to the market, and there were quite a few that you had to walk through, there were kids trying to sell these little seagrass roses, which yeah. was kind of not awesome. Yeah. Um, I mean, they weren't super pushy. Like, you said right. no thank you when they walked away, which was appreci I appreciated that. Yeah. And they were trying to hand them to all the women. Like, oh, a pretty flower for you. Right. And then he said, oh, thank you. Well, then that'll be $8 or, you know, yeah, you know right. that kind of thing. <laughs> no, it's actually not a pretty flower for me. You're trying to sell me something. <laughs> so that wasn't super fun. That's like when we went to, was it Portland? And the guy handed me a mixtape. Oh, He's like, I made this just for you. And yeah. I'm like, you don't even know me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it was neat to kind of look around. Yeah, but I will say definitely something fun to see. Getting around Charleston is chaotic. Uh, there's well, like, it's like any city. There's a lot of one-way streets. There's a lot of streets that are parked on both sides And so it's really narrow to get through right. There's a lot of you know big trucks bringing in stuff that you have to get around and then they have these horse-drawn carriage tours which are in the way all <laughs> over the place everywhere and so, we're from like we're from Amish country, Pennsylvania, so we, we recognize buggies and stuff getting in the way, but these were like everywhere. Everywhere, and right in the middle of the road too, yeah. so that wasn't super fun. Yeah. But it was a neat experience, and I'm glad we did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, a lot of walking tours, a yeah. lot of things like that. So. so since we have had a busy few days, and Stuart is going to have to be doing quite a long drive tomorrow, we kind of just decided to take this afternoon and evening and just kind of relax. We're going to do something for dinner, maybe, um, but... One thing I realized is we hadn't had a lot of sweets and goodies this trip. And if you know me, that's like my thing. And so we had to take a trip to a bakery. And so I found one that was not too far away that got really great reviews. It's called Luck House and Brew Baker. And it's just a little itty bitty shop in a strip mall, but everything is made there like fresh and um and made in-house kind of thing. So right. we got a little variety of things and we're gonna take you along as we taste. <laughs> um, so I got a key lime pie tart. Let's see if I can show you guys that. Better, which looks really good and I've learned through my yogurt journey <laughs> that I really love the flavor of key lime. So I'm excited to try that. And I also got a red velvet cupcake that got a little smushed on the ride home. Oh, that is glary. There we go. So I'm excited to try that too. I love red velvet because it's usually paired with cream cheese icing and that's my favorite. And then Stuart got... I got really a collection of cookies. Okay, I got you a, a plate, so if you want to. Um, so the first one I got was a, a mint patty. Yeah, I'm assuming that's maybe like a... A thin mint? I was thinking more like those, oh. in, those mints that have the oh. white in the middle. Maybe. But anyway, I like mint and chocolate. I think that's see what a good it's combination. Like on the inside. Um, for me, anyway. I really think it's like a Girl Scout cookie. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look it's like that. a. It's just thick, yeah. thick chocolate. It's like a York peppermint patty. You yeah, that's will what it is. hate that. Yeah, I don't want to try that. And then my other cookies that I got. Oh, that is strongly minty. <laughs> I can smell it. This is just like a vanilla frosting in between two chocolate chip cookies. That one I want to try. Um, which. 
Yeah, that's right up Joelle's alley is frosting and cookies. So. You want to set that on this plate so it doesn't there. get all minty. And then I got a salted chocolate. Yeah, so interesting. Which... That looks pretty good. It's got like big hunks of salt yeah, on it. So I'm looking forward to that one. And then just a raspberry thumbprint. I'm a big fan of raspberry flavored things. So yeah, yeah so just a bunch of cookies and Joel and got the more elaborate cake goods. Yeah, all right, so shall I go first? Sure. Do you want to try any of this key lime I don't part? think so. No, okay. I'm not a custard type person. Okay. Well, maybe I'll take a bite. I did get you your all own right. fork. I don't go on the yogurt journey. <laughs> no, Stuart doesn't like yogurt or puddings or any of that kind of thing. All right. Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Mm hmm. Not sure what that is. Whipped cream that's not like super whippy anymore? I don't know. It was sitting in a case, so. It was. And it was the last one left. I'm having another bite. It, I think you might like it. It's really tart, which I really love. And then it's got like the sweet and kind of crunchy graham cracker crust. I really love to smell things, don't mm -hmm. you? Well. Oh, it's actually not bad. Because you get the graham cracker crumbs, mm -hmm. so it gives it texture. Yeah. What do you think? Um, you I know, really like it. I actually like the flavor. The yeah, custard it's not in very the center. Sweet. It's, mm -mm. it's all tart. The custard in the center is not like because of the graham cracker crust isn't just like pudding, and that's mm -hmm. my big issue is is the texture thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna eat all of this tonight. <laughs> I'll have the rest for breakfast tomorrow. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no! We need right. to stop. Let's pause. We're gonna pause. Swap out a battery. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Had to swap out the battery. Yeah, we would. We don't want to die on you guys. All right, so on to the red velvet cupcake. Did you want to try some of this? Yeah, I'll take a bite of that. Okay. I'm gonna cut a little piece of it off and put it on the plate here. As she cuts half of the cupcake. No! Off. Stop! <laughs> Look at how good I did. I did such a good job. I'm my um my biggest fan. My own biggest fan. She is. Mm. Yeah, you gotta get some of the frosting. The frosting is really good. I think the cupcake by itself would be a little dry, but together it's pretty good. Here's a cupcake. I think the frosting is better than the cupcake. Yeah, there's not much to the cupcake. No, it should have a more chocolatey flavor than it does, I think. Okay. But I feel like that's just par for the course on cupcakes. Onto your cookies, Stuart. All right, I'll start with this one because this is the one I'm le looking forward to the least, just because. That's the one I want to try. Um, I think it's just too much frosting for me. <laughs> I mean, this is like Did you see the frosting? Disney level frosting. Mm. Oh. It's probably gonna be cold. Oh no, those weren't in the freezer or the cooler. Just oh. set it right on it. Well. It what is do you excessively think? Excessively sweet. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, those cookies seem like they might be a little. Yeah, they're, they're a, a little, little hard. hard. Just because I'm sure they've been sitting out for a bit. Right. The cookie's good though. I could do without the frosting. Mm. The frosting is very sweet. Yeah. I don't like no flavor, just sweet. Right. It's just sugar. That's basically what it is. But the cookie's good. Like, I like the cookie. Yeah, it's a good cookie. I All do the like frosting, or, yeah, just oozed out of the mm -hmm. side of the cookie. 
I do like cookies softer, but that one's fine. Um, definitely not one of the better things of the things we've got so far, though. Right. So, all right, I'm going to try the, the mint, which Joelle no, she just won't do it. I like your peppermint patties. Patties? Patters. Yeah. Um, you're going to think this is like I'm not gonna straight try up it. toothpaste. Um, yeah, it's basically a homemade your peppermint patty. Um, it's obviously a different chocolate. Wait, is it dark chocolate? I don't think this is a dark chocolate. No. Maybe it is. But if you're not a big fan of mint, you're not really not, you're really not gonna like that. Yeah. Um. I like it. I like the flavoring of chocolate and mint. Um, but I think you would definitely see it as straight up toothpaste. But I thought it's good. Next cookie. All right. Salted chocolate. Salted chocolate. Which I'm finding that like I'm a big fan of like salted caramel and stuff like that, so I am looking forward to this one. Oh, it's a little crunchy. How's the flavor? You definitely get the salt. I um, think you'd have to because the flakes on there are really right. big. Um, I like the sweetness of the chocolate. I like the saltiness of the salt. That's a good cookie. Um, okay. I don't know that on any of these I could eat more than one at a time though. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just not a huge sweet person anyway. Um, yeah, but you got more sweets than I did. Well, I just got cookies. <laughs> All right, so the last one is the raspberry thumbprint, which I'm sure is fine. Maybe it'll be the best cookie. Oh, that's the softest cookie. Mm, softest cookie. Mm hmm Yeah. It's fine. As is typical with like these thumbprints, the cookies themselves usually have little to no flavor because they're like a shortbread. Right. Um, but the raspberry in the center is nice. I like I the think flavor that of that. When you put raspberry in the center, they should make the cookie almond. I love raspberry and almond, mm. I think are so good together. Yeah, so. So I think overall our review is get the tarts, yeah. maybe skip the cookies. And they had so many other things um, that you Oh yeah, bonbons, tried. which we didn't get yeah. any of those. They had a bunch of those. They also had a chocolate uh, nut and fruit cluster, which looked yeah. interesting. Um, and they had ice cream that was homemade. Yeah. And um, I think they had cookie, like cut out cookies with royal icing with the pretty ones, yeah. but we didn't get any of those either. And giant things of cake. Yes, which were $10? Nine, nine or ten dollars. Yeah. But I it was too much for me to eat all yeah. of that cake. I was trying to be Yeah. Good. Um it'd be interesting to see if their cookies are a little bit better if you get them like right as they open. Yeah. Um but obviously these are sitting under glass domes for probably hours. Yeah, yeah. And if you know anything about cookies, they tend to harden and Yeah, if they're exposed to the yeah. air. But they're fine. Um but yeah, I would definitely say they're more catered stuff, like, or they're more specialized things. Yeah. Yeah, they had a peanut butter pie tart that mm. was like, like stacked high with stuff. And they, they had, had a mixed berry pie. And a chocolate had, mousse brownie yeah. cup too, which probably would, you don't like mousse, but I bet no. that was good as well. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if you're in the area and you're looking for a place to yeah, get something so sweet. This was in the Charleston area, but on James Island. James Island so if yeah. you're headed into James Island, I would highly suggest checking out this bakery. Yeah. All right. Um, we're going to sign off. We may do a closing later. I don't know that we're going to do anything special for dinner tonight. We'll see. We'll see what happens. If we do, we'll... We'll take you along with yeah. us. Um, if not, then we'll be back to just kind of close out the video for today. Yep. So we'll catch you later. Hey, everybody. It's Joelle here. We decided to order takeout for dinner. We got it from the hideaway, I think. It's like literally one minute from our Airbnb on the way to Folly Beach on James Island. So if you guys are headed to South Carolina and James Island, you can get this food too. 
and I just thought I would show it to you real quick. So, watching YouTube, we got wraps. This is a turkey, turkey bacon wrap, and I got a Caesar side salad. And then Stuart got a Greek wrap with mac and cheese. There we go, now you can actually see. And then we got an order of, I think, cheesy bacon fries. See, we were going for a little bit healthier, but not. <laughs> so we're going to, there's Stuart. Yeah, here we're going to sit down and dig in and have a really chill, um, Last night in Charleston. Last night in Charleston before we head um, to, Maryland. to Maryland tomorrow. We have a nine hour drive ahead of us tomorrow. So I think we're going to sign off for this video and for tonight. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see the rest of our vacation. Um, we've really enjoyed these few days we had in Charleston and I think we definitely recommend it as an awesome place to take a vacation. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging out with us and we will see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.